Welcome back to Media Anarchy. I'm Captain Obvious. Um, I have been doing this for so long, as some of you know, that it's hard for me not to call things as I see it. But I'm not saying my perception is 100% correct. I give myself about a B plus because nobody is perfect. And I'm not some licensed, certified, professional detective. <laughs> But when you stare at this shit all day and you read this stuff all day, you learn to know what to look for and what to listen for and how to interpret what they're saying. But I caught Trump telling us exactly what's going to happen. Now, let just hear me out, okay? For those of you who are awake enough in this country to understand that not everything is as it seems. There's a lot of deception going on. There's a lot of predictive programming in the media telling you the same thing over and over and over again, which we just caught with that assassination over in Saudi Arabia. We knew that was coming. We knew it was going to happen, and we knew exactly how it was going to go down, and I'll get into that in another report because they told us. They slipped up so many times and told us, and I caught it in every CNN, Fox News, um, Bloomberg, New York Times, I've caught it in all their stuff long before. How do you know? How does the media know what's going to happen? Or, I mean, what has happened before we even have the investigation? How would the media even have a clue of what happened? We're going to get into that in another report. But right now, I want to talk about this. Presidents are selected by the Electoral College. They are not elected by the people. I know... I know, you're all pissed and thinking I'm crazy, but we've been over this a million times and we have proved it, 100%. So why, I guess I can't say why, Trump knew, he had to have known what he was getting him in, uh, getting himself into because going into the, the Oval Office with all these very powerful elites around him and then comes out on national TV during a MAGA rally and tells you he don't know who the elites are. Who are these elites? Or the people that are telling you what to do. Because you don't just walk into the Oval Office and do whatever you want. If that's the case, we would have been, we'd have done nuke North Korea by now, wouldn't we? We dropped a few bombs over in Japan because somebody thought they could do whatever the hell they want, right? So if the president can do whatever the hell they want, why the hell is JFK assassinated? Because he was against all this shit. He was against the secret societies and the New World Order and all that shit. Why was Reagan shot in the ass? Same thing. He was against all that shit. He tried speaking out on it. Don't you see patterns? You can't connect the dots? Seriously, wake up. This isn't rocket science. Trump said right here in this Fox Business report, Trump nonchalantly said, if the Democrats take the House, the economy will collapse. Well, how do we justify that? What's going on in the stock market? There's a big ass bubble. There's a big ass inflation, um, income tax, sales tax, all these taxes, all this shit is, is like, it's, it's a big ass bubble. And, and we're seeing specific names crashing every other day. I think Dow was just down several hundred points, okay? And one of the biggest Dow corporations are right here in Michigan, and everybody and their brother seems to work there that live within 50 miles of the place, so you hear shit, okay? So I don't just make this stuff up, all right? Trump, or any president for that matter, cannot just come out and tell the American people the truth about anything. Look what happens. JFK. Nixon, Reagan, Clinton. So, when I hear Trump say nasty things about people and women and, and that sort of thing and hear him call people names, dumbasses and morons and horse faces and grab their crotch and shit like that, kind of makes me wonder, is he really a bad man? And that's why he took this job in the office, Oval Office because... Well, he knew he was going to be working with some bad people anyway, so what's the matter? I'm just an asshole. 
You know what I'm saying? Excuse the language, but I'm just I just call it like I see it. Only only a jerk would take a job knowing he's going to be told what to do and how to do it by a bunch of elitists that want to do bad things to people and play games and lie and manipulate and use the media as a tool to predict to predictively program people to believe half the shit. All right? So Trump's sitting here telling everybody, he's warning you, if the Democrats take the House, there's going to be an economic collapse. Meanwhile, we're getting re- we're in the middle of a trade war with China, and we're getting ready to go into an oil war with Saudi Arabia. Set up, set up, set up. And then you have the psyops being pushed by the predictive programming mainstream media. I'm going to get into that in just a second. So, we have Trump telling us that if the Democrats take the House, there's going to be an economic collapse. The economy is going to crash. Well, he's telling us what their plan is. The elites are going to use the Democrats as an excuse to corner the markets. That's not rocket science. That's easy shit. I caught that half awake and I hadn't even had my first cup of coffee. And I was like, what the hell? (laughs) That was an easy one. It was too easy. But I don't drink fluoridated water. I I, I filter my own water and everything. So I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not dumbed down and and stupid, I guess. This is how I got to say it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not fully awake yet. I told you I caught this half asleep. So Trump's telling us that This is what their plans are. They're planning on doing something with the economy. We're not sure what yet. But this is what the plan is. So he's telling you you're going to lose your 401k. And they're going to to, um, reverse the tax breaks he just gave us. Well, here's the problem I have with these tax breaks. Who the hell is he talking to? Because he's not talking to people who make under $100,000 a year. And he's not talking to people who make under $50,000 a year. Because I don't know one person. And I know a lot of people. And I talk to a lot of people. So I understand a little bit from all angles before I come in here and give reports. But I have not talked to one person who makes just under $100,000 a year who saw any damn tax breaks. Not one. In fact, the people that make under $50,000 a year don't know what the hell they're talking about. What are they talking about tax breaks? Well, he gave you a tax break. They're, they're not taking as much out of your paycheck at work. Well, <laughs> speak for yourself because I haven't seen a change. Not one. Have not seen a change. Then, several weeks later after these tax breaks, we start a trade war with China and we start tariffing everything. Guess what happens when, when we do that? The cost of living goes up because things because products become more expensive to make and products become more expensive to purchase by the American people. So giving us a tax break is just compensating for the cost the rise in the cost of living when you start off your when you run, when you when you start tariffing all our imports. So we basically broke even and you have a lot of a lot of really good people out here that are just so dumbed down they don't get that. Let me explain to you before you get pissed off and shut me down. Let me explain to you. This is what this is what this means. Let me explain it in layman terms so you can understand. They raised the minimum wage to $15 an hour and you're excited because now you can afford to pay your bills. But then they turn around and raise the cost of living. What good did your raise do? Not a damn thing. Your $15 an hour did jack shit when they turn right around and, and raise, raise your rent. They raise, your ta- they raise um, uh, taxes on goods. They raise the cost on food. We got farmers on welfare with food stamps because they got a tax break. You see my point? Do you understand what I'm seeing now? Do you, do you, can, can you get my perception? This is what I see. 
I don't just make this shit up in my head and come in here and tell you whatever whatever you want to hear and put clickbait titles on there because I'm not in this for the money. I'm in this for the facts, for the truth, period. And I'm not making this up. This is exactly what's happening. This is exactly 100% what's happening. Everybody was excited about these tax breaks. Even I was. I was like, oh, shit, yeah, things are going to get a little better. Finally, we got a president that's going to that's gonna uh, tell the elites to kiss his ass, and he's going to help out the American people. Then three, four weeks later, we go, oh, we're going to tear up the shit out of China because they've been ripping us off. Bad timing because now aluminum and steel is going to is the, the the cost of imports on the, on these tariffs and the taxes are going to be so expensive that when you go buy anything that's made out of aluminum and steel it's the ta- the cost of living is going to go up do you know that right after we got the tax breaks and the tariffs hit we a lot of people here in Michigan got notices that our rent was going to go up and you know what their excuse was tariffs do you know I was going to look for solar panels for my motorhome the other day? And almost all the sites, except for Amazon, almost every website I went to to buy, to buy uh, uh, solar panels, even one of the Home Depots, said right underneath the solar panel, prices subject to change due to tariffs. The cost of living went up. That's a fact. And any of these idiots... In these comment section on the Fox News, CNN, ABC, NBC, Newspack, alternative news, fake news, real news, bullshit news on YouTube, it doesn't freaking matter. These idiots jumping in here going, you don't know what you're talking about. They're either stupid or they honestly don't know and they just, for some reason, they want to attack people. I, I don't know what the excuse is. But anybody that believes that these tax breaks did anything for anybody making under $1,000 a year has absolutely no effing clue what the hell they're talking about. And Trump just told us what the plan is. The elites want to use the Democratic Party as an excuse to burst that bubble with the Fed. Seriously. That's what's happening. I'm not making it up. Just anybody who thinks I'm crazy obviously can't handle the truth or they can't just can't. They, they're so deceived and brainwashed they can't see past the, the lies. I mean, that's what predictive programming is. Telling somebody something long enough so much over and over and over on the news, every time they turn on the news, they start to believe it. And then they're, they're hypnotized to believe the lie. Kind of like what Charlie Manson did to his followers. Told them the same, got them all brainwashed and believing this and believing that, that they went out and started killing people. It's the same thing. You got to snap out of that and go, wait a minute. No, I need to ask some questions because this just does, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. There's nothing wrong with being wrong. If you don't understand it, ask questions. These, these big wig YouTube channels run around telling everybody, you know, you're wasting your time being all obsessed with trying to find the truth. You, they're idiots. They're obviously up to no good. And if they got money connected to their channels, that that's why. And we'll get into that in another report. But right now, I just wanted to jump in here and call it like I see it and tell it like it is. And if you can't handle the truth, you're the one with the problem. Have a good day. Goddamn, goddamn.